Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian LaFerrian. So today I got a different angle with the camera. I'm going to be pointing it toward, straight dead on toward my face. So let me let me know if you guys like that. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Today is Saturday night. And today I'm going to be doing a shave with a new soap I just got in the mail. It's a Razor Rod Triple X soap. And this is the Super Tallow Formula. So this has, this is our new formula which has tallow, shea butter, um, argan oil, aloe vera, and lanolin. So it's supposed to provide, an, according to the Italian barber website, unmatched post shave and razor glide. So this will be an all razor rock uh, shave video because I'll be using all razor rock products. And we'll be using my, um, my self lubricating open comb razor rock razor. So this is a razor that's been out for probably about a couple years. I did this in several videos before. I think I did a review when it first came out, but I haven't used this razor in a while, so definitely, definitely looking forward to using this razor. So this is basically an open comb razor, kind of like the, along the lines of the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, double open comb razor that they have. But to me, this shave, in my opinion, for me, it shaves a little bit better because it's a little more aggressive and I can get a better, closer shave with this. So anyway, this is based off of a 1940s uh, vintage razor called the uh, Grand Shake King uh, Self-Lubricating Razor. This is a great razor to uh, use. I used it before, so I'm excited to use this razor. And I'm using uh, a Vishkod blade. So this will be the first use of this blade in this razor. And I'll be using my Razor Rock uh, 400 uh, metal handle Black Noir Plus Off brush. So this has a 24 millimeter knot and it's got the aluminum metal handle here which is really, really nice which I like. Definitely a, nut, definitely a hefty handle to grab onto. Pretty weighted handle too also by the way. But let me go ahead and wash my face guys. I got about a couple days of growth, so really curious to see how good this soap performs. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Just washed my face. I actually took a shower back there, so my face is really uh, prepped and ready to go. And I loaded my brush up with the Triple uh, X soap. So I did a bowl lather, so you can see how much lather is producing right away with the uh, Super Tallow formula. So I'm gonna do like a bowl lather slash face lather. So See how it sh see how this goes. So definitely a lot of lather just from doing a bowl lather, just to load my brush up with the soap. I just took a little bit of soap off the um, out of the container and put it in my Doug Smith uh, shaving bowl here. All right. So a little bit, a little bit. So I'm getting a little bit used to um, this view of the camera because usually I, I look at I have the I have the camera on the side of the on the side right here so I can look straight ahead to see myself shaving but right now I'm looking right at the camera so so this will be a little bit kind of a different way to shave for me or getting used to doing it this way and right off the bat lots of lather from this soap so but Razor Rock soaps are generally pretty good lathering soaps. So I can't wait to try this new Super Tallow formula that Joe from Italian Barber is making his soaps with. All right. So definitely, definitely smells great. Great scented soap. All right, that should be sufficient. Uh, nice lather so far from the uh, soap and also from the Plus Soft. Um, I'm sorry, the, the uh, Razor Rock 400 Plus Soft Noir brush. 
All right, so self-lubricating open comb razor. Let me do that first pass here. So definitely got a lot of feedback with this razor. And this is just a cool design. Just the head, the top cap and the plate, just a cool design. It's just designed so that it holds the lather in the teeth here so it self-lubricates and also provides a better glide. So that's the premise of this razor. And I'm just so glad they brought this design back that someone went back and recreated it whether it be Phoenix, Douglas from Phoenix, or Joe from Italian Barber. Just a great, great, just a great razor that really should never really disappear from the, uh, from the landscape years ago. But as you well know, that Gillette probably put out, like, probably put out of business like, like a lot of these small razor companies back back in the day. Yeah, definitely a lot more glide with this razor. And the bush cod raised blade is doing a great, great job. So this razor is relatively mild, a little more aggressive than the PA version, the double open comb. I know they have a new uh, similar razor called the Revolution, I believe it. I think that's the name of the razor that, that Phoenix makes. I haven't tried that razor yet, but... I believe it's made out of stainless steel, so... Yeah, this razor's still around, I believe, on the Tell What Barber website. I think I saw it for 17 bucks. I think. Um, I mean, pretty good deal. It comes with a stainless steel handle, machine stainless steel handle. I mean, the top, the top plate, I'm sorry, the top cap and the, and the bottom plate are actually um, zinc alloy, chrome zinc alloy, so it's not really completely stainless steel, but nevertheless a great razor to, uh, for that price point, so definitely great value. All right, guys, got a nice first pass Shea right there. Let me go rest my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back my second pass, my second face lather here. So I'm still getting used to this camera right here, so, so don't mind if I'm looking off to the side at my mirror. I noticed a lot of what uh, YouTubers that wet shave are are doing it this style, so I thought I'd try this style. I, have a, I actually have a camera. I'm using my cell phone today. I actually have a a, a cell phone holder that's that's uh, attached with the suction cups to to the to the phone itself, which I use an iPhone by the way, and it's attached to the window so or the mirror. So I bought this special iPhone holder or cell phone holder a while back just for this purpose but I, really, I never really used it though I just like to have the uh, camera on that side but I thought I'll change up a little bit and do it this way yeah this stuff is smelling great great smelling soap all right, guys, my second pass here. So this scent is actually like a fresh and clean scent. And it's based off the a classic Italian barbershop scent. So 
So they call it on the website a classic Italian colon colonial scent. Colonia colonial scent. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Colonna scent. <laughs> was inspired, this scent actually, Triple X is actually inspired by Aqua de Parma, a uh, colonial class, classica, which is a cologne, I believe. And I know they make shaving soaps, from what I read also. So take a look. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely great glide with this razor. This um like I said the teeth are hold they hold the lather in there so you have another so you're able to actually buff with this razor so because it keeps the traps of lather in there, so you can kind of go over an area a couple more times if you have, if you want to, without causing any irritation. So, all right, guys, second pass was great. Just very, very smooth. Just a smooth razor with that Voshcon blade. But uh, so far, the soap's been really good. Nice lather soap. Um, I I can tell a little bit difference from the old formula, but but still pretty pretty darn close though. Just a little bit more, more glide with the uh, new formula, the new uh, super tallow formula. All right guys, let me wash my face, rinse my face, and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back for my last and final pass. Which I'll be going again against the grain here. And still plenty of leather left on the brush here. So this soap, this soap is still a soft soap. It's almost like a uh, cream soap combination or a crump. A crope is what they call it. So I wrote down the scent notes of this soap. So it's really, really nice, pleasant soap. I mean, this soap was wickedly pop, real popular when I started wet shaving about, you know, several years ago. Back in the early, uh, I want to say 2010, 2010 or 2011 when I started wet shaving. But this soap was really popular back then, so it still does have a following and popularity also, still. All right. So the scent notes, I wrote them down. The top notes are bergamot, orange, lemon, orange blossom. The mid notes are lilac, lavender, rose, basil. And your base notes are hay, tonka beans, uh, patchouli, musk, sandalwood, and oak moss. So quite a list of uh, scents there, but it all wraps up to be a nice smelling soap. Just a great, great barbershop type scent. And like I said, it was inspired by Aqua de Parma Colonial Classic Classica. I think I said it right this time, so. Yeah, definitely, definitely don't hardly ever get mixed with this razor. This razor is just great. Probably a great razor for everyday shaving if you have to shave every day for work or just like to shave every day for just for the for kick for your for the kicks of it. Or to go through your massive collection of soaps and creams like a lot of us have. Which I do <laughs> which I do have. I try to shave at least once Every one or two days. So 
So I hope you guys are doing well this week, this weekend. It's been really, really wickedly hot in Florida. Say like 90 degrees, um, raining at raining in the afternoon. Hot, mu hot and muggy. Just your typical Amazon weather here in Florida. So the scent strength on the soap is probably about, I would say probably about six for scent strength. On a scale from zero to 10. Not too strong, but not too light. Just about right. All right guys, that's my, sh that's my last pass against the grain. Let me get rinse my face and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back for the post shave. So I ordered the aftershave that came that came with the soap that goes with the soap, the Rizorak Triple X, and this is a splash. So and definitely, definitely a little bit stronger than the soap. So let's try it out here. And I believe this is an alcohol-based aftershave. It's kind of hard to read the ingredients. Very, very small. But these two products, this and the soap, are made in Italy. So so definitely, definitely smell very nice. Ooh, nice, nice, nice scent. Yeah, definitely, definitely smell the citrus in this aftershave. But man, just a nice scent. So the aftershave is definitely a little bit stronger. I'd say about an eight out of a scale from zero to 10. Definitely a little bit stronger, but feels great on the skin. Nice post shave feel. Um, other than that, that's my shave, guys. Great shave. Uh, this Razor Rock Triple X new formula is awesome. Uh, pretty pretty decent formula here. So that's my recap. Was this soap right here? My single lubricating open comb uh, Razor Rock razor, and I this is the uh, barber pole by the way, the barber pole uh, stainless steel handle. So when you order this razor, you, you get a choice of I believe the barber pole, the radio knob. The bulldog handle. I think there's like three or four handles you can choose from, and they're all stainless steel. So definitely a great value. Like I said, 17 bucks can't beat that for this razor. So definitely a great value. And this is a razor that you can use almost every day because it's a, it's mild enough to do buffing with it, and it lubricates, which it, it what's what you know what it's in, intended for. And the Voshka blade did was beautiful in this razor. So definitely definitely a great razor. To use for everyday shaving, and I use, like I said, the Vosh Hod um, Teflon coated blade. I keep forgetting these are Teflon coated. I'm going to say Iridium, but they're not. That's that's the Pulse Silver. So these are definitely the Teflon coated blades, which are nice blades. And I think these are these are really inexpensive. I think you can get these for less than ten bucks on Amazon. So great value. And my brush was my Razor Rock 400 with the black nor plus soft knot. And this is a 24 millimeter um, knot, so pretty soft. Not much backbone, but great for loading up soft soaps like the Triple uh, X soap I just used, creams, and just great, great for generating lots of lather. So just a great, great uh, brush. And this is like, I think this is still pretty good value. I think around 20 bucks for this, for this brush, so definitely Outstanding value, nice uh, aluminum handle, which feels like it's solid steel. It feels heavy, so it's definitely, definitely has some heft to it. And that's it for my shave, guys. Hope you guys have a good week, or gonna have a good week. And there's a lot of bad weather out there across the states, so you guys stay safe. And also, guys, check out my videos from this week. I went on some little excursions around. Tampa, based around Florida where I live at, and did a little bit of research and some little historic uh, stops along the way. So definitely check out these videos on my channel. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to keep them nice and sweet, short and sweet, so I can kind of give you a little bit of 
not too much information, but just enough so it keeps it interesting. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and I will see you guys back uh, later this week. You guys have a good week. Take care.